Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail called Time from Germany and the reason why I don't have the package here in frame is because it is too big to fit in frame. Like, <laughs> check it out. And so in this case, I'm gonna have to open up this box off camera and then we'll see whatever's inside. So I'll try and make a little slot here and then we'll pull things out from the side and let's see where that takes us, yeah? Oh, it looks like a lot of packing peanuts. Wait, hold on. Okay, well, that looks to be it. Uh, I must say that amongst all of that packing peanuts was this cool little patch from Tools for Gents and that is where I purchased this knife and you guys know the knife in question today it is the Fox Knives Radius but I want to just interject now and say that this could have easily been lost I might have accidentally thrown this away if I didn't pay attention because I was just looking at this box right yeah something for Tools for Gents to take note of but it's a pretty cool addition to the box anyway it's a nice gift it's a patch with the velcro backing how awesome is that tools for gents nice put it here in the corner and with that said we have this box in there and looks to be a slide open or a slide out sleeve there we go oh there we go so it says radius right here very nice spot uv treatment of the fox knives logo and the radius word and then we've got a little leather tab so this is kind of like a handle for a pull-out drawer wow that is cool guys are you ready for the unboxing it seems to be quite premium so far my hair is kind of standing a little bit in preparation for this because this is quite the experience thus far i'm i'm really excited about this how cool is that okay so we've got this slid out it says here fox knives pretty sweet oh wow okay well it's got some fingerprints here uh, okay well that's kind of hard to avoid I guess since it is such a satin finish you guys can see it's like a mirror mirror satin finish but check that out uh, okay on the back of the card is just blank just plain let's put this aside my oh my okay this Wow, just wow. Okay, and I decided to purchase this from Tools for Gents. Now, I did not purchase this from like, for example, Blade HQ or Knife Center that I normally purchase from. In fact, even Urban Tool House, which is a local knife shop, I should say online knife store, carries this knife. But the reason why I bought this from Tools for Gents is mainly for two reasons. One, it's because they offer this exclusive fat carbon version. This is like the lava carbon fiber, which looks really, really sick. But also because this thing is actually going for 277 euros. Now, if I include shipping to that, it is 295 euros, which is cheaper than any other source. And I'm talking about like even locally, or if, for example, I buy from Blade HQ, including shipping, this is way cheaper. And on top of that, that shipping price is direct shipping. So they ship direct from Germany all the way here to Singapore without any need for freight forwarding. Those two reasons are more than enough for me to purchase from Tools for Gents. I must say now that I've always wanted to try my hand on a Fox Knives Radius, but when I knew that there was going to be an exclusive fat carbon version, I was like, I want this, right? I'll be honest with you. Initially, I thought, okay, I want that copper shred carbon fiber version, but that version, unfortunately, features a brass thumb stud or whatever this thing is and it also features a black coated blade and I'm not too much of a fan of black coated blades so this basically checks all the boxes that I'm looking at Tools for Gents actually carries two versions of this they have a black coated blade version and a satin finish blade version and this thumb print here is irking me so I'm gonna wipe it off right now there we go much better all done put the knife aside and let's check out what else is in this box because the presentation here is already so awesome look it's cut out form with a layer of cardboard just for the handle and it's, it looks so good oh wow there is a sheath okay I wasn't it wow my hair is standing okay okay I wasn't expecting that this comes with a leather sheath how cool is that with a belt loop on the back as well Fox handmade Italy what yeah clearly this is handmade like there is just this handmade finish to this that you know this is handmade just look at that okay this is beautiful and then next we have on the other side is a cleaning cloth and what looks to be a guarantee or warranty okay so there's a warranty slip which is cool so we got that fox knives cleaning cloth i'm gonna put the box aside now okay wow talk about an unboxing experience this has been a great unboxing experience so far this is awesome so here we go let's take a look at the knife and this is not a review of any sorts this is just my first impressions on the knife and i really wanted to try out this mechanism here like what's all the hype about this thing winning best overall knife of the year ah oh, look at that look at that okay i'm quite glad and i i feel pretty lucky because i mean we're talking about carbon fiber here right so this side of the scale i'm actually feeling very lucky that i got a pretty nice 
even kind of a spread of red and black and on the back as well i've got some pretty nice highlights here on these raised areas and then on the flats here it looks almost like it's black but it's a very subtle bit of red but on the show side my goodness okay i'm quite happy like i didn't want it to be too red or too black and this is just perfect for me so it shows off all the beautiful contours of the scale you could see here it's all contoured Wow, this is really nice and it's got a titanium backspacer and a titanium pocket clip. This looks to be, yep, not so deep carry. You could see that roughly this much is going to be sticking out of your pocket. And we've got this blade here made of M390 and it's got this logo. I don't even know what this logo is. Okay, I'm going to have to put more specs on the screen, but there is a logo here. I'll put more details and everything on this half of the screen here. And mine is numbered 35 out of 50. Now I'm just going to cut to the chase. Let's see how this thing closes so apparently you're supposed to push down on this button and wrote okay that is really smooth <laughs> wait guys wait this is my first time trying this and this is super smooth what what okay this is quite cool wow wow okay 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 this is this is pretty awesome and in here there is a little bit of marking let me try and get the light for you guys can you all see that? I'm sorry guys, this is kind of hard to get on camera. It says Radius Italy M390. Now it's got a bit of dust here, but that's okay. Now my first impressions of this is really, really good. I really like this button. Um, I love the way it's implemented. This thing is so smooth. I'm just looking at it and it's really interesting because see, it follows the blade, right? It follows the blade, the orientation of the blade. But at the same time, when you have your thumb on it, it feels as if this thing isn't even moving at all. Wait, did I? Wait, wait a minute. Does it does it not move? Wait, it moves, does it? Or does it not? This is this is interesting. Wait. See guys! Wait a minute. Okay, so look at that orientation. Look at that orientation. Hold on. So now it's oriented like in this direction, right? That curve milling pattern is oriented in this direction. Just Okay, so it kind of look, it's moving what no wonder so this thing is kind of like a free spinning button of sorts this is really interesting because it feels as if like it's stuck under your thumb it feels like it's not moving as you rotate this this blade open and close and well I, I don't know how to explain it but that's quite a cool tactile feedback it's really as if like the button stuck to your thumb and then it helps you with opening and closing this thing now i gotta say that closing doesn't feel as comfortable as opening partly because i have this fear that i might just kind of chop my own fingers in so i'm pinching it like that on the pocket clip and then just pressing down on it with my thumb and then kind of rotating it like that so that's a little bit uncomfortable but opening is not uncomfortable at all just yeah so you guys see that's it's pretty sick right it's, it's pretty sick okay this thing is really smooth it's way smoother than i thought but let's see if yeah if you don't depress the button then you'll feel the resistance all the way throughout you can actually see there are some scratches up here in that track here and that's to be expected because you know there is some kind of a spring in there like a spring mechanism and this looks like a yeah it really does remind me of a button lock it looks like a button lock kind of button but this is really really good i i like it it's so unique so unique now there is no blade play and centering oh my goodness centering is so good look at that okay now it is time to give this guy a size comparison and i've decided to compare sizes by using the pocket clip side facing up because then it'll be flatter on the mat here and yeah shout out to knives.com ben peterson awesome knife mat dude just yeah knives.com well if you guys are interested in getting one of these mats well i got it from blade hq support another knife head ben peterson but yes the first knife we are going to compare it to is the Benchmade Mini Grip. And you can see that the Mini Grip is slightly smaller than the Fox Knives Radius. And then we have the Para 3 Lightweight. And it looks like the Para 3 is almost exactly the same in terms of overall length when we compare it to the Fox Knives Radius. So they are very much alike in total length, even in proportion. See where the handles end and the blade starts, more or less the same proportions. Pretty cool and of course last but not least the crkt pilar which is clearly the smallest out of the lot 
there we go okay gonna move the knives out of the way and let's bring our focus back onto the radius so just by handling this knife a little bit you guys can see it it's quite a thumbprint magnet i've got my thumbprint here and there gotta really just wipe this guy down uh, i can't really blame it as well because there is or there seems to be quite a bit of lubrication underneath that pivot screw or around the track area of the blade apart from that i'm gonna say that machining quality on this is very good as well it's very very nicely chamfered on the spine of the blade here and then the chamfer slowly disappears as it approaches the tip of the blade and i don't know if this is a drop point or a clip point but yeah whatever this is as it's going towards the tip of the blade the chamfer disappears and then a switch kind of appears up here and that grind is just magic man now i'm going to talk about the comfort so first impressions of the comfort of this knife in my hand this is really comfortable the index finger sits very well in this finger slot up here and the rest of my fingers just sit comfortably here as well there is no signs of a hot spot at this point of time i mean i'm saying this as a first impression yes i know that the backspacer here is protruding out a little bit and it's a little bit like a pointed end but it is rounded maybe for people who have bigger hands or larger hand size than i do might have this biting into their hands but this is perfect for me you guys can see it's not causing me any problems and i don't think we could choke up on this thing i mean maybe just slightly with your middle finger in that slot up here and then your index finger just here underneath the track area or the pivot area so this is kind of like a choke up that's how it looks like and now into the reverse grip really super comfortable right now it's not as comfortable as a para 3 in my opinion especially a para 3 with aftermarket scales and i'm talking about the aramis aftermarket scales because those are beautifully contoured but this one is very nicely contoured i gotta say that these contourings here you can see very very comfortable there's no sharp edges here doesn't feel like it's biting into my skin at all whatsoever doesn't seem like it's biting to my hand at all whatsoever and it's really comfortable to put my thumb up here even though there is no jimping up here this is definitely very slippery very slippery i'm gonna say it right now this is very slippery but it feels really comfortable because this thing is just so chamfered to the point that it almost feels like it's completely rounded off on the spine but it is chamfered slippery and i'm not going to deny that and this is what it looks like when you have that that pointer grip or the pointer finger grip and then when we have that kind of like a you know like for fine work and stuff when you kind of pinch it this way on sideways yep that's what it looks like really i think that this mechanism is quite awesome okay maybe maybe i'm gonna be I'm gonna have to be honest here maybe this is like a novelty right now like this is new to me and you know this is like very fascinating i cannot say i mean i have to edc this thing before i actually really go in depth with it but right now it looks good everything looks to be built really really well made really well so kudos to fox knives for this and i'm very glad that i managed to snag one of the special exclusive tools for gents edition with the marble carbon fiber that lava marble carbon fiber and a satin blade and basically that is it everyone i just wanted to talk about this and just get my first impressions on this that won the award for blade show 2019 so congratulations to fox knives and that is it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life and i hope that you enjoyed this content and if you do please consider subscribing if you do subscribe make sure that you hit the bell so that you'll be notified of any new uploads that i put out i also run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out and if you do become a patient of mine thank you so much in advance and that is it i will catch all of you in the next slice of my life everyone until then gaga wait you know what guys i'm sorry i got too far ahead of myself i was too excited and i completely forgot about putting this into the sheath just to see what it's like so here i go i'm gonna close this knife up and put it into the sheath i'm sorry everyone now it looks like there is some kind of a little shape here and it looks to be corresponding this way i suppose it's the only way that makes sense so i'm gonna try following this contour here sliding it in okay so i have to wait so it's stuck here am i supposed to remove the pocket clip if i want to put it into the sheath i don't know let's just try with the pocket clip that's how it sits right that's how it sits this is it's quite sick i gotta, I gotta admit it's quite sick and then ah okay so it makes a mark right here and well maybe i messed up 
But you know, there is a way to remove the pocket clip, but you have to do it from the inside. And I believe that the screw port is hidden underneath the back spacer. So you're gonna have to disassemble this knife before you can actually get to the pocket clip. Now I also noticed something about the scales that I wanted to point out. There are some, it looks like lightning holes, some slots like kind of tapped into the scale. So I'm not sure what those are. There is like a slot that is on both sides here that mirror each other. That is also present down here. But I gotta be honest and say that it looks like there are some steel liner inserts, kind of like liners, like inserts on the inside. I guess we need that kind of support or material in order to accommodate for this mechanism here. So I don't know, I might consider doing a teardown video. What do you guys think? Like I see an insert there, but yeah, like I said, the only way to remove the pocket clip is for you to disassemble the knife and then remove the screw on the inside. That is kind of like half or semi hidden under the back spacer. That's what it was like in the sheath. And looks like I'm never going to get rid of this mark now that the pocket clip made. Yep. So that would make sense if you remove the pocket clip, you know, most probably you are not going to put this in your pocket. So that's going to be helpful if you want to kind of holster this on your belt. It's not really for me, but it's very nice, very, very cool that they actually had this in the package. One of the best unboxing experiences of a knife so far that I've had. And now for real, Gaga Boost.